Hello, welcome back to the channel. It is Dan Nocturne Knives coming at you today with a quick unboxing video. I have this knife in from the Apex Pass Around group, which I was recently invited to join. Very thankful for that. This is a new knife from QSP, a new budget piece, and I think a lot of you will be very interested in it. To unbox it, got the Koenig Arius. Here we go, QSP, better knife, better life. This box is nice, it's, I like the pattern, the texture, it feels good. So this is, you're probably all familiar with the smaller version of this. Here we go, it is the Penguin XL. I don't actually know what they're calling this, I'll put it up, I'll put it on the screen, what the actual name of this, but it is the QSP Penguin XL, pretty much the large penguin. And this one has some interesting features over the normal penguin. First, we have a flipper tab. Try that out, all right. And then we have a wire clip instead of the normal mill titanium clip. I don't know what comes on the other penguins. I have a two titanium frame lock penguins and those both have a milled tie clip. Not sure what's on the standard one, but here we have a nice, really nice feeling wire clip. And then also normal thumb studs, like on the regular pink one. Now off the bat, flipper Deaton feels nice for that. Action feels good. Yep, snaps open. Not sure if I can fail. Let's see. Okay, you can fail it if you try. By doing that, but if you just give it what any, a flip that any reasonable person would. Really easy to open. And then thumb studs, easy to use as well. The detent is not too strong for the thumb studs. And it's not too hard to avoid the lock bar when you're using the thumb studs. Yeah, very easy to use. Again, it has these penguin thumb studs that I really don't like because they stick up here above the handle and they're just a little bit pokey, not my favorite thumb studs, but they're all right, they work. The flipper is really nice. I, I like the flipper over the thumb studs a lot. I think this would be cool without thumb studs, just as a flipper only. You can get middle finger flick pretty easily. So let's take a look at ergonomics on this are really nice. The If the regular penguin is a little bit small for your hands, then I think this is going to be perfect for you. Let's take a look. Overall length coming in just shy of 8 inches, 7.8 inches or so overall. Handle length coming in right at 4.5 and, and then blade length coming in just shy of 3.5, maybe 3.4, something like that. And then cutting edge is about three and a quarter. Yeah, nice proportions on this. Good size, good size for a knife like this. So you have a lot of room on this handle. You can see my medium to large-ish size hands fitting easily on here. And if you had even larger hands, you could easily jump back onto this shelf here. And you have a lot of extra room on there. Hammer grip feels good. Saber grip is good. Jimping gives you just a little bit of traction, but it's not overly aggressive. Draw cut is good. Pinch grip feels nice. Pinch grip is good. Yeah, there's nothing on the back. No aggressive jimping to be chewing at your finger as you're pushing down like this. Say you're cutting rope or cutting a piece of cardboard down like that. Now, this flipper tab is interesting. It has this jimping up here, which I guess is to choke up. And yeah, that, that works. That's not bad. You can put your index finger here and get a lot of control up there. Same in a pinch grip. You can put your index finger there and work with the tip really easily. So yeah, that works. I like it. Ooh, this factory edge feels really nice. It's like an excellent factory edge. Feels pretty thinly ground too. Let's take a look at those dimensions real quick. Okay, blade stock is coming in at 0.13, a bit over um, eighth of an inch. Handle thickness coming in at... 0.41, under half an inch, that's a pretty nice thickness. And let's take a look at behind the edge, coming in at just over 20 thousandths. So that's a little bit thicker than I thought. I thought it felt a little thinner, but 
that's not so bad for a knife of this size. It's decently thin and the blade stock is decently thin, so I think this is gonna cut pretty well overall. Take a look at this factory edge. Yeah, feeling pretty nice. Not a bad factory edge at all. Looks like it's perfectly centered and no blade play, no decent lash. Very nice. No lock rock, nothing like that. So what I like about this knife, I like the overall size, the ergonomics are really good. The action on it is nice, especially on this flipper tab. And the blade seems pretty well set up for cutting. Got 20 CV steel if heat treated well. So it's gonna be a very nice steel. I have no idea how QSP is treating their 20 CV. If anyone knows about that, has any info on QSP's heat treat, drop a comment down below. I would love to know that. Uh, I like the wire pocket clip. I like the clip placement. You can have very nice carry here. Just almost nothing of the knife sticking out of your pocket there. And I like the thickness. And the weight feels like a nice, reasonable weight. So I like those things. Now, a few things I don't like. Not a fan of these thumb studs. I think they're too pokey and too long. Uh, there's also a little bit of a double clutch when you go to disengage the knife. So right here, where it wants to drop onto my finger, let's see. So if I de disengage it in a pretty normal way, right there, drops onto my finger, but it's not off the detent ball. Right there is where it clears the detent ball. So here's cleared the detent ball, but I go to unlock it naturally. I let it go, and it's not over the detent ball have to push it over that. So you have kind of a double clutch. Now if you get it, if you purposely put your thumb a little bit lower, it will fall past that pretty easily. Just the natural place that I want to put my thumb leaves you with a double clutch. And that's about all I have to say about this. Couple likes, couple dislikes. I will make another video about this later on in a few days before I send this off to the next person in the pass around group share some of my further thoughts, stuff like that. Oh, another thing I don't like is this sharpening choil, just like the regular penguin, is too small. You can see how it does not clear the plunge grind. So even on this factory edge, you have some recurve in it. That's definitely annoying. Really wish they would just take that back and out another eighth of an inch each direction. That's what I did on both my penguins and definitely it improves it both aesthetically and sharpening wise. But whatever, that's a pretty easy modification to make yourself. So there we go, that's about all I have to say. Oh, and this purple Anno, I really like it. I think this purple looks super nice, well done, very even. And the handles feel nice, have this nice smooth blasted finish. I'm into it, I like it. So that's all I have for this QSP Penguin XL version. Hope you found the video interesting. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts about QSP, the Penguin, or this XL version specifically, go drop a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that, that like button, subscribe button. If you like sharpening, knife content, all that sort of stuff would definitely help me out. And with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you on the next one.